So this song, Excuse Me Miss, is supposed to be a fancy, upper-class, champagne-sipping, hoity-toity, dignified sex anthem. And I know this because all throughout the song, Jay-Z keeps reminding me that I should be thinking that. This is for the grown and sexy. For the grown and sexy. Only for the grown and sexy. And reminding me that this song is so sexy and dignified, you can't even do anything like a poor person when it's playing. You can't roll up to this one. You gotta, you gotta roll. You gotta light it. You gotta puff a on this one. Try some red wine, little Gasha 97. I got my Gasha 97 on. Right. Funny thing is, Pharrell is doing such a great job of crooning his heart out on the song that I would be more inclined to think it was a super sexy club anthem if it weren't for Jay Z desperately trying to get me to think so. You gotta throw in your fine linens for this one. You can't even drink Cristal in this one. You gotta drink Cristal. Dude, stop. Y you don't have to do this. You don't see legends of R&B doing stuff like this. This is sex music. This is classic sexy sex music. God damn it! You you're supposed to have sex to this. It's it's so classy. You're gonna you're just gonna start. F but this is the most confusing lyric of all. After he says all this stuff about being distinguished and high class, he says this. You might gotta go get you some Scooby Doo's. What? Got throwing the Scooby Doo's. What the hell are Scooby Doo's? Those are shoes, by the way. No, they're not. Unless you're referring to the ones that parents get for their six-year-olds that pay less. And the thing is, he repeats that sentiment like three times, so you can't ignore it. You got throwing the Scooby Doo's. Stop trying to act like you're hip to some high-class fashion thing that we don't know about. Because I'm pretty sure Alexander Wang or McQueen or Da Vinci or whoever the f isn't naming their shoes after Hanna-Barbera cartoons. I tried looking this up, and the only thing I could find was an Urban Dictionary definition saying a clean pair of shoes that you keep looking fresh. What? The okay, that's bullshit. I've never heard anyone say that. Also, this song came out months before this definition was written, so I'm taking that with a grain of salt anyway. Or maybe he was just trying to make Scooby-Doo's a thing. Like, he thought he was such a trailblazer, he could just say anything and it would catch on. But look, man, you can't spend a whole song trying to convince us that this is some illustrious sampling of beauty and elegance and then throw Scooby-Doo shoes at us. I don't know about you, but I don't associate black tie affairs with talking dogs from low-budget, irritatingly mediocre cartoon shows.